only, uh, women's health was only focused on what we call bikini issues, breast cancer, reproductive health, very important issues, uh, but I would argue that musculoskeletal issues define people's quality of life. Am I going to be independent? I'm on, am I going to be living on my own? Or am I going to be in that bed, crying out for the bedpan, and nobody will come? Uh, and, and so we define people's independence. So I assume everybody in this room, uh, by virtue of the fact that you're here, um, are aware of the challenges, even in putting the title on a program, but let's spend a minute on it. So sex is determined in the womb, defined by chromosomes. Gender is how one pre presents oneself to society. And those are very different issues sometimes, but both impacting on health. And certainly for many women in many societies, gender makes a difference if you have access to food, education, exercise, or health care. And so that's acting on top of the basic chromosomal differences. And this is a favorite slide of mine um, that I was thrilled to find on the internet because I would argue that this speaks to the Venn diagram of sex and gender. We have women, I would argue, misbehaving and wearing very tall, high heels. Um, so they're doing a gender-based behavior um, uh, th that is destroying their feet. And the pressure maps you see are the bl one that's mostly blue is if they were in those nice flats, their feet would be lasting for long periods of time. But because of their gender-based behavior, they are creating biologically horrible feet uh, that, go that are going to torture them potentially for very long periods of time. So my talk today is going to mostly focus on sex, but we have to remember that those gender-based activities certainly have a very sp deep and sometimes long-lasting influence. <laughs>